Welcome to the part 27, the protectorate questline. And uh, although this is a, not a necessary part, but when you find the train, you can actually handle it all yourself. Especially on this build, as we have some trap skill, we don't even need to memorize um, any of bomb disarming cues. Um, yeah, I decided not to place it. I'm not even sure at what angle they're gonna come in. And there's a rock I'm gonna hide right now. Behind. Um, yeah, forces them to approach from only a single angle. Snipers and no threat. There they are. I'm just trying out shotgun, but it's really not optimal. It's strange. It says on the tool. <laughs> what is it? What has it called? Um, in basically on tool tip. That's it. On the tool tip, it says uh, optimal range. This and this and that. No, it is not. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Shotguns. Yes. Goddamn. Had I taken uh, concentrated fire and put focus points in it, um. <laughs> I'm trying to force uh, the shotgun place, but this is easier. So, anyways, at this point, the bomb gets armed. Done. That's it. Just loot the shit and get out. Now this is the second part. Uh, a peon lab. Basically, uh, some activity near the lab. Blah blah blah. So, if I remember correctly. You need to go south. Or I no, I remember incorrectly. You need to go north. Yeah, north. I think. Yes, maybe. <laughs> Anyways, you'll see. One leads to nothing basically, and one leads to the area as so well for a few seconds. <laughs> There's a station. Okay, so this is a station. So that's a whole deal. <sighs> okay, time for shotgun to shine. It's not really shiny. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, my God damn it.
why I'm shooting 6P. I'll Lots of tech quests. Uh, some could have been anti rifle. Plus, much bigger crits, obviously. Uh, when you land the 6P crit. Problem is, I know the dogs uh, will start first, so they'll eat up a trap if it's a regular dog. Mm. Nice, it's not ideal. dead just from the bear trap I seriously didn't understand how that sniper died. Yeah, I said we missed it somewhere. Anyways, this area is done now. Yeah. Easy enough, I guess. Now, this is how to get to Hephaestus Research Facility. Um, relatively easily uh, grab a drill otherwise you'll use a ton of explosives so you go from Southgate station ah, good old rats yeah this is this was a rerun um, I recorded actually after doing it um, I forget I forgot to record it. <laughs> I thought Yeah, I don't need to show it, you know, there are like multiple freeways. But um two of them one of them at least goes through the really crappy crawler infested area. So I thought I'll show just like the most straightforward, the easiest way without no you know going into there and like turning turning there and there yeah it's super easy in there. so there's a bunch of red hounds in here as well actually this area i've never visited um early on when playing myself i think i should it's um lots of good um crafting components in here as well This is a fenced off area. If you can squeeze by the red hounds, um, you can shoot them up for free in there. Anyways, so in this, obviously turn left or west, as they say. Uh, and remember exactly, if, I think there are a couple of mines in here, so watch out. Uh, level one mines, though. Now, this is the part we need to drill through. And 
there'll be a bunch of alphas and a single ancient man hound which doesn't respawn unfortunately and uh yeah, these are lucky right yeah so keep on blasting <laughs> But that's, that's the thing, is that's why you're gonna use a, a ton of uh, TNT. So grab a drill instead. Because we need to drill through this, and then we need to drill through this. There we go. Then we go up. I think, or down. Something. There are no enemies in this area. And then drill through this. Yeah. And south. Once. And here you are. FS research. So magic stuff editing. And we're going in. You can see this is the good stuff I picked up from the area earlier. As I mentioned, it had lots of cra good crafting components. So yeah, I'd say it's worth doing. I mean, there's just a few red hounds in there. Hmm. Should actually throw the drill out as well. Not gonna need it. Um, equip your AP equivalent something ammo, or if you're doing enough damage, whatever. As uh, all borrowers, baby. That Molotov in there so badly. What? Am I playing a shotgun build? <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, it's alright, like six shell. Any decent uh, low frequency shields, uh, I mean, at this point in game, um, will be fine versus um, the borrower spit. It's like 27 damage if it doesn't crit. So, yeah, really easy. Borrower warriors are like the only real threat. Although, they're not very mobile. So, you either trap them, or you run away from them. Meh. Maybe looking at those rocks and you're going, ooh, rocks, I wanna go drilling, but I would say, don't do it, just yet, soon, gonna get to the area's highlight, you probably see it already, the dreadnought, anywhere in the game where you get to operate with it. It's awesome. Yeah. 
God damn it. <laughs> I wasn't going around the corner. Just in case the little borrower was first in initiative uh, and would have just went onto my imprint, deleted it. So I'd rather stand, um, you know, near the doorway, make myself visible so it, in case it comes in, starts spitting at me, and all's good. And all went good. I mean, this is fairly easy at this point in game. Yeah, not much of a challenge. Obviously. Nobody's a fan. Of the borrowers. My loot goblin wants to loot this stuff. <laughs> I'm looking at all the loot. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna take it. Just wait, man, just wait. Anyways. I wish there was a way to play a bit more of the dreadnought well obviously it's overpowered as hell like uh 6 AP shots infinite ammo very good armor There's no real reason to fight here. I'm only doing it because um, I would like to have some borrower spawn. Uh, block off the warriors. Oh, that's pretty much it. And here they are, little guys. The yeah, only warriors will deal any damage here.
plenty more where that came from. That's it. <laughs> Nothing really to threaten anymore. I might as well speak um, why I went the 9 strength and uh, this is sort of shows why because I knew I'll be dealing with uh, natives um, which deal a ton of physical damage and because shotguns share the loudest profile the 12.7 uh, sniper rifle and 44 magnum there are not many places we can actually um, set up a good um, a sort of ambush area so you do end up maybe just just walking in and fighting whatever you can um, vanishing grenades um, is one tool you can use but again some a areas where you enter are so close to enemies immediately and shotguns deal so little damage I find out that um yeah, I knew I, you know, I wouldn't be able to do it. Anyways, the series is done. We freed the captives, or the survivors, and now we are going to get the mutagen. So this is the area um, just east of Hanging Rat, and two zones up from the. Rail crossing station. And although I've done these guys before using um, explosives to roll them, uh, lure them in uh, to the other side, I'm just like, I don't need to do this anymore. Way more damage. Yeah, this is the corner uh, probably to use. And as you can see, I'm also not going in with shotguns because A, I um, wouldn't have even dealt enough damage to kill those guys as I did previously. Plus, as soon as they have um, images up, shotgun is useless. A uh, single shot, unfortunately, only takes one image out. So it's like playing a hammer build. <laughs> Look, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, um, <laughs> this is the biggest downside. Well, one one of one of many downsides of shotguns. Um, I'm not really selling it, uh, and actually, that's not an intent of these videos. I'm not here to sell the shotguns. I'm actually um, got a build that can carry shotguns. That means I've got assault rifles that carry shotguns. Otherwise, they're dealing with a whole bunch of problems. Um, again, this is a comparison with the hammer build. Same AP, 20 AP, actually hammer can load it. And... Um, difference is, range is almost similar to hammers. <laughs> Seriously, if you want to land any hits, um, you need to be really up close. Much closer than uh, I think you have to be. Thanks to the way SMGs work, like assault rifles, 
uh, the way they hit. The uh, sc score hits basically on any misses. Uh, the, the shotgun is sort of is similar, but it really isn't. O on a single target, um, you land more shots the closer you are to them. Um, it says optimal range was on shotgun. This is four or three uh, tiles away. That is not true. I I've never really. I don't think I remember seeing me landing all the pellets on a single target. And bear in mind, your damage is split among all the pellets. You know, it's not like bullets. You know, not like firing seven bullets, each is dealing the damage that's listed on a gun. No. So you got the total damage that you're dealing divided by 20. Yeah, then go bang, basically. Obviously, it says on each shell um, how much total damage per pellet it deals. So say 20p um, in total would do 120 of the shotgun's damage. But it's split again, again amongst 20 pellets. No, you get the gist. That's the thing. Another thing. Um, pistols. SMGs. Assault rifles. They use ammunition which W2C ammo of that version doesn't deal less damage than regular ammunition. It simply has more penetration. Shotguns on the other hand, 6P already deals only 90% of the total damage. 6P shot. 3P shot, the highest armor piercing, only deals if I remember correctly, 75% uh, of total damage. So you nerf your damage already by 25% of armor going armor piercing. And that armor piercing is not as good as W2C ammo. And you don't even land. You shoot 3, 3P. Yes, you, the 3P, you, you know. You could land frequent hits. Also, pardon me here. Um, I haven't done this area in, in quite a while. I didn't remember where the crawlers were, so I was uh, probably doing this very carefully. Anyways, let's carry on. So, the free P, uh, more often than not, yes, you will land all, all the free pellets. But on, again, you're only dealing 75% of your list of damage, and that's 20 AP. That's the maximum reduction you can get. <sighs> the damage is not there. When you see people um, speaking about, you know, how much damage they're dealing, you know, it's like, oh, the, the shotgun, you know, I made this super high crit of, uh, you know, whatever, thousands. Yeah, I've done the thousands. That's on uh, 20p, uh, max, ma basic max crit. But 20p only reduces the threshold. It obviously helps the, the pellets, you know, to get through. But um, the crit is not that amazing then. Yeah, of course you're dealing like 120, but you're not gonna land with 20 pellets either. Unless you're really up close and probably the enemy is, is big. I don't know what really factors into it. Um, but I, uh, the maximum accuracy you can get with a long barrel is 80%. You get the short barrel on, minus all the evasion, the most I saw is like 76% chance to hit. So, yeah. There are too many trade-offs. And benefits are very few. The biggest benefit for the shotguns, I must say, is the lead shot. Because for area of effect, other burst firearms are better. It does area, but it's uncontrollable. Mm, you can expect the first target take most damage, except when it doesn't work that way. It, it just baffles me. You know, sometimes you focus on a target that's like three tiles away. Yeah, four tiles away. 
God forbid. Yeah, blast that. So, land a few shots. And the first target that's standing right next to me barely gets crashed. You know, next time... You're shooting past the target and the first target gets shredded. And the other guy gets barely... Injured. And also, um, shotguns, also damage range on shotguns is ridiculous. It's like f maximum damage is four times, four times <laughs> more than the minimum damage. So if anyone thought, you know, like uh, 44 Magnum is the black. This is the same. This could be actually considered to be worse. Because you take all the damage penalties. Um, with AP ammo. With distance. As I said, the further you are. Look at this damage now. Seriously. 60 action points. <sighs> And that's the highest arm penetration ammunition. So, yeah. I mean, it's... It's dealing with threats. Okay. It can deal with them. Unless, of course, again, you got... Uh, thought control casters. You know, and uh, you got... Uh, freaking illusions up. Yeah. It can deal... The threats. Sadly, not nearly as good as either melee or. Uh, well, I guess it depends what melee you're using. But yeah. <sighs> that wasn't the uh, brightest moment. <laughs> As I said, sorry, I um, forgot. I haven't I haven't done the pet turret in quite a long time. I usually go with free drones. Uh, faster, easier, plus I get to, to kill protectors. But, you know, uh, protector has its sides. You get three merchants and extremely high quality merchant for um, gun parts. And uh, actually, armor parts as well. So, yeah. The only thing, obviously, drones have is a like high quality cloth vendor, but I bought uh, a lot of blast. Like, blast cloth, you can get up to 160 quality uh, protectorate. It's definitely worth it. Um, yeah, protectorate is harder and longer. Drones are much easier and faster. You know. Destroying things is easy. <sighs> so this is the area where the crop is on. Being careful does be on. I believe I need to go further though. <laughs> not not there yet. So yeah, as I was playing shotguns, I mean, I'm um, in level 26, um, I killed Carnifex ages ago. There's so many downsides to them that they really are just a sidearm. So if you're playing, say, a sniper build and you need something when enemies get up close, um, yeah, that's where the crawlers are. Behind that sweet, sweet door.
Okay, I have no idea why that guy showed up after I cast it. So yeah, there's so many downsides um, that, you know, for sniper build, you need a close range option. Um, you can go between SMGs and uh, shotguns. Pistols, maybe, maybe, but pistol damage, if unsupported, is so low. It's not worth it, really. Um, so pr you're probably looking between SMGs with a commando and um, shotguns and by all means I would say go with SMGs because the what is it 6 dexterity if I remember correctly 6 dexterity and commando you can land 2 bursts from SMG And you only spend a single feet, you know, um, commander, which also has the benefit of shortening the flashbang cooldown, which are extremely useful for snipers. Yeah, it's not much, not much to be said about. I mean, they're fun. I love shotguns in real life. I just don't problem in this game. I mean, you get big numbers. Occasion. Yes. Agreed. Yet, <laughs> there are many, many better ways to get those big numbers. You know, you got energy pistols, you got sniper rifles, you got, uh, oh, damn, even sledgehammers. Yeah, I thought about warming myself up with a Molotov. But then I decided against it. Gas disappears after a while, once I switch it off. You don't have to rush it. Nice some mutagen we're in here for. And um, we get to grab the canisters. Don't touch the faulty one! Unless you're wearing a hazmat suit. Otherwise, bye-bye game. <laughs> or no, sorry. Hello, the alternative ending. And now... I got the canisters rigged in the base. Blah, blah, blah. And... This is the rail crossing. And this is the way to reach the... Free drone space if you've never done them. Now, this is pretty straightforward. I've got the hazmat suit, I bought it. From I think protector it actually. Yeah. Uh you can get it in Oculus um a random traders really as well. Just keep a lookout. It's it's really useful in this area. That's the only way you can protect yourself from the gas. Otherwise you have to dodge around the gas. Which is not ideal if you want to loot the place. So my plan here is Make the plant. Of course, it's, of course, it's botched. Um, once we go down to the next area, just wait it out. Just, just stand there and wait. Once the noise dies down, <laughs> then walk out. But be a bit smarter. Equip your normal armor. Put the shield on just in case. Then walk out. Um, I walked out blind. 
because I didn't remember exactly where the gas would be at this point. But it, it doesn't go far from the corners in the walls. So you don't have nothing to worry about. Up to the point, obviously, when you're looting. So there you go, I waited out. It's, it's, yeah, and it was five minutes ago. Until the shooting stopped. Yeah. Like, put the shield on at least. I wasn't smart about this. I was a bit smarter about this. Yeah. That almost got me. Huh. Yeah. And I was just walking around and looting stuff. Because obviously not coming back here. So do it. Do it now. And if you don't have the hazmat suit on, oh well, you're missing out on a lot and lots of sweet loot. Um the key card for the gate is in a shelf. I think. Yeah, the shelf that I just walked past. There's another one on the body somewhere, I think, maybe. But, yeah. showing you the whole looting process. There's <laughs> a few things I picked up to get the general idea. There will be an area where there are enemies. So, and you'll see it in a second. That's the actual exit itself. The mutagen does not start releasing until you enter the area itself. So, yeah. There are two snipers in there. And one assault rifle guy. There. So, you can actually pass here without a hazmat suit. The gas walks out for a second. So, just wait it out. And then it walks back in. So, there's like a. You can exit without a hazmat suit. And there we are. Two snipers and. I think Casper, I think, is wielding a pistol. So I'm not a fan of taking sniper shots. And down she goes. Yeah, so that's it. Just leave the area and uh, have a chat. Wait for a single uh, inventory, kind of trader inventory restock. And you will have your present in the mail. As you'll see in a second. So I might continue um, discussions about the shotguns. And uh, further videos, because next um, one should be Expedition. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.